But these two teams meet on this hated This is the ground. elevator smoke, right? I think so, yes. It'll what do you think so? What are you here for? You don't block, know the smoke. It'll block off Shuhei here. Yep. yep. Right there. Okay. All right. Just one player that's able to fight because of that isolation. And now Astralis with a good start towards middle. Two kills immediately. Now they're deciding where they want to actually go. Nine. Well, is the Royster. You don't normally see three teams in the CT spawn and the duelies, and there are a lot of threats here. Zershan dropped with nothing. Jimmy, though, one of the best anchors in the game. Only good for one round over. And a lovely little pistol there from Astralis. Nice and simple. That smoke is very powerful from T spawn. Allows you to get some great mid control and isolate those fights, as we saw. Torji just playing for cash at this point. Two kills to get him an extra $600. That's pretty much all that's available to him. He has got the kit, though, Maui. So, uh, see whether he can do anything here. Not going to happen. And Astralis, a flying start here on Vertigo T side. Yimpat here jiggling with the smoke out. MP9 as well. And there are going to be a lot of bodies to contest him. I mean, James Banks was asking Yimpat in the early interview what he feels like that about this map. And he said, yeah. it's my least favorite. So, uh, the stats actually reflect that too. This year, 1.06. And okay, well, uh -oh. hold on. There is a flurry of frags towards that middle side of the map. Kadian, though, he's snuck up quite far here in elevator he's going to be able to relay this information so, over quite quickly he can potentially get three kills here and win the round single-handed i'd actually say advantage astralis at this stage considering his op ideal he doesn't have to go for the first kill he does not actually want to get this so leave it be leave it yes. be gadian Trigger get some intel first this is okay well okay. played very well played okay that, that's just to cure the round yes well played by Kadian there not a great chance for brolin in this one both these players have head armor, so that MP9's going to lose quite a bit of efficacy. And yeah, okay, he's already gushed. I, I don't see how you're going to go for this one. Okay, Astralis with the idyllic star here. The fact you've got a 2-0, potentially 3, and it's full eco next for Maus after setting the trap in towards middle. They got a couple of kills there, man advantage, but Kadian, he must have come up um, I think short he snuck towards up the short yeah, side, elevator, yeah. yeah. What a brilliant play, though. As long as he didn't go for the quick kill here, set himself up for a double. Absolutely find a significant damage towards Jimmy as well as Device closes out the round. They will pressure Yimpad here. Full execute, a foot. Molly at his feet. He's burning alive right now. The flashes are good oh as well. God. This is so hard to play against. If you're Yimpad, you see that he can't even find anything there. And he was talking about the fact that Exertion was going to be there to help him. Well, he can't do anything now. I don't think you go for this. Is the AWP on the retake here? And you've got just smokes. So the retake itself, you haven't got the flashes of the incendiary to flush them out. Bomb's not planted there. They're baiting it out, considering that util is available. Speaking of which, frags are as well, but device, they're still here. And oh, Shui wait. gives them an opening. Yeah, that might be something right there. Brolin, this fight is going to be pivotal. Yep. If he actually clears this angle on Kadian, that could be an in on the round. But oh, oh. no, Yabby through the smoke, able to find Torzi. And that's almost just by happenstance. Shuhei made them both line up. And nice Brolin, stage. he's going to force this one. Okay, it's a lot of damage, but without a kill, this is so difficult. He doesn't have a kit right now. And these players, they're playing keep away at the moment. Oh, they Wait. give him an opportunity, but can't quite find this great transfer. That was close, though. Astralis. Looking like they're going to be finishing up on this side of the map as well. Here comes the execution. Shui wants to double dip towards Shaw, and it does cost him his life. Traded out by Stow. Good one for one there for Astralis. Even though it felt like Shuhei had an opportunity, he wasn't able to get away scot-free. And now, once again, I feel like Astralis, they just want to hammer this B bomb site. They know that they are calling against a Yimpat that is flying in the dark. He has no idea what sort of executes are going his way. When these nades are sailing over, it's up to him to live react to all of this. There has been no refrag training. He has no tape, no footage, and it's going to be exertion that has to bolster the defense this time. Right here behind the half wall, yeah. they might overlook this position. It this is... has to be the win condition. It's a trade, though. The double kill was required. Jimmy's already... 20 points of health. One bullet would take him down. I'm going to say that's going to be delivered. He won't be able to get a kill. He did very well to find one at the very least. He just start posting some rounds here. One versus one. Step versus Brolan. One will be planted. He commits to it. Normally, you'd fake in this scenario. So he's actually got a nice advantage here and knows exactly where the CT is. There will be Brolan to post the first round for Mouse. Tantalizingly close there. Back and forth. And Jimmy did very well on 20 points of health to give them a fighting chance in the 1v1. Taken a few bullets there. Stairs going to use that reload as an opportunity to get up there silently as well. Beautiful shot from Device. We'll find Brolat, the AK-47, and the flashbang over the top from Yabby. Not the double kill, though. Zershan holds on towards the B side here, trying to reposition back towards default. Tessie to take Yabby on the other side. It's a bit of a fumbled spray there. 
perfectly positioned but couldn't nail the shot. Exertion now had the advantage of smoke. If he waits for the smoke, Maui, I dare say he can hold them at bay. Oh, Torsi though, not necessarily known for his rifling prowess and not going to make anything happen right there. Device finds a second on the round. At this point, I feel like if you're Maus, you have to call a timeout and say, we need to help this guy. We need to get some B main control because we can't be on the back foot on what is such a condensed bomb site. That's a nice shot right there from Stown. Everyone's looking sharp for Astralis. Seems to be, I'm not going to say meta, we just don't see this map anymore, but I've seen a lot of people throwing this, and it doesn't seem to matter. But Brolan trying to use it to his advantage, but KD more than aware of that prospect. Gets himself the opening kill, Stown. Maintains the man advantage here. Torji, 5-7 this time. Two of them, in fact. Resertion joining him, working in tandem towards shore. Plenty of time, though. You don't necessarily have to commit to this angle. You're just patrolling as your teammates get control of the ramp itself. You need to be careful. A lot of sound cues here. Those 5-7s could swing around at any moment. They're making a lot of noise. And the defense has solidified. And Torzi with a swing. Nice shot onto Yabby. Okay, well, they're not actually going to keep on going just yet. Wait a second. Impact. He's actually peeking by himself right now. Oh, what a shot from Stown right there. <laughs> Two on one advantage. And Torzi, no way. Okay, he's got the 5 7. Takes down device. Stare one on one. 35 HP onto Torzi. And he's able to slink away. Hides his time. Oh, spots out stare. No damage from either party. Good nade. Sails on in. Okay, the drive-by from Torzi. He knows his duel is right there for the taking. He's on seven points of health. Stare, the molly is out. Forces him back. Torzi, he's got to rethink this fight. It's anyone's round, but certainly the advantage for Stare. It's going to take some fancy footwork here from Torji, and a round he can't deliver on. It was always going to be a very difficult clutch for him. Did well to even bring it down to a one versus one, but 30 points of health. Couldn't now maneuver the final player. It actually did, them. Actually did. Normally, I just copy stickos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as, as we all should, apparently not. <laughs> um, but uh, let's have a look. Very important round here. Resources are low, to say the least. We've got them fours, but... Almost no utility it means you have to go more combative at the start of these oh. rounds. Kadian hitting some bangers today. What a shot. I mean, we've questioned his rifling, but he's proven himself today. Yabby with this. Oh. Are, are you kidding? He's just going to sideswipe Yimpad. Oh, looking at the angle. Nice so small. much info, but Shuhei's able to recover the situation. Okay. He's able to reclaim some space towards the B bomb site. A minute 15. And now Kadian, he's in his office. He has a man advantage. He understands that his team is in the driver's seat here, and he's going to wait. He's going to figure out what it is that Mao's want to do to try to recoup their losses, and they are waiting. But Shuhei escapes with his life and intel on top of that anyone's round but certainly the advantage here for astralis brolan fighting two for nail for these advantages can't hold on to it though once again it's given over up to the danes and they got themselves a three versus one device is looking very sharp today on the rifles too everyone delivering for astralis nine one ridden the stars as we do have zershan no util no diffuse kit a uh, Lost it for a second there, but he has got no kip. And uh, yeah, three versus one should be a done deal here. Considered to be one of the best riflers in Europe right now. We'll see if Zershan can make a dent on this at least. Oh. There's a good start. Why is no one covering him? Wow. Okay, smoke fades, but down quick with the trade. Nine to one. Bit of a fury buy here. The MP9s, the Kevlar. It's a map that can make them work, but device opening things up. You got Molotov towards short as well. You got a gap in that smoke, and one stair tries to utilize. He does significant damage towards Jimmy, but ultimately back to a four and four. Jimmy just gonna go grab that AK-47, takes the risk. You gotta take some of this point. You're nine-one down. Right. Four on four. A lot of space look, taken. Look how many grenades they've got. They can just fully execute towards this A side, and it's over. That's the easiest call of uh, Kadian's career right now. Yeah, this is going to be so difficult to hold. Brolin's got to come up with a multi bag Set up the Utah here, double nade in, clear out these close range positions, full execution. Someone cover short, for God's sake. Oh. It looks like it's fine. Yeah, but now you just execute to the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, Torres is going to try to oh! out this. Okay, two kills in quick succession. All right. There's a chance here. They have thrown the utility out already. Yimpat's right behind the smoke with a nade. Throws that one out. A little bit of chip damage. Shuhei, oh, unfortunately, he doesn't choose the right angle. It's going to take him quite some time, an extra five or so seconds to pull off this flank. Stown's already holding it, but oh, quick flick down. That's a nice shot. 25 HP for the Finn. And you can feel like he's doubting his position. Device doubting his aim, but makes up for it in the end. Another convincing round for Astralis. 
Okay, nade right on. Exertion's head, 41 damage. Softens him up immensely already. He's got to find some quick headshots if they want to have any semblance of a half here. Already down 10 to 1. Exertion looking for his time to strike. Is someone going to sail a flash right in? Okay, there it is. The support flash seems to be there. Stown, though, quick with the trade. The lineup? No? Okay, yeah. Yimpat finally stands his ground on the bomb site. Kadian gets one in return, and the time is too low. There is no chance for them in this round. Bows, uh, finally, get a second round. A nice behold to close the half. Stare in the mirror position of Yimpat here at back default. And it does look like there will be a B exec coming about. Molly sails in towards quad. Stare with one HP, still have happens to keep himself alive in this one. One kill a chance, and yep. there he gets it. Wow. Unreal that he's able to find a headshot there, but three on three, and Device is able to find a kill from the top with the duelies. Bro, there's no plans as well. They have the advantage here in more ways than one. If the bomb was down, they could start repositioning, and now you've got a plan for four seconds and cover that player. The smoke's dissipating. Nice work from Brawlan, isolating these fights. If he can get the second here, they're really onto something. But Torji, once again, can't get the plan down. Feeling uncomfortable, needs a double kill. Not going to happen. And that might that might determine the outcome of this map. With no plan being down, Maui, if you do force by, and with the pressure being applied towards the A round, they probably need to hunt for a bit of intel right here, right now. Device, you don't see this angle too often. Can he make it work? He certainly can. First kill is his. Second one is possible. Damage being inflicted towards Shui. He will fight back and taken down by Yabby. Man advantage. He is the walking wounded, though, with 16 points of health. Next kill could decide the outcome of this round. It will be Torji to find Stown. In the smoke, though, lies another MP9. Cadian and Stare. Three versus two. Can they close things out now? Doesn't look likely. Torzi, great job standing the test. The re-aggress coming out from Astralis right there. A bit of a gimmicky setup towards middle. Despite the fact that they were able to find those kills, it was a great push from Maus towards the A side of the map. In, in fact, I feel like that's all they had left on the map, and it still worked out for them there. But the weaponry, not too strong from Astralis. They still have quite a bit of money to work with into the upcoming round. If Stair is able to get even one kill right here, a drop gun is going to probably land in the hands of Stown, but it's not actually the case, and so it's actually a little bit awkward. I'm here for it. They pull this off. Very impressive. Certainly a risk, and the first shot doesn't connect the AWP. It's going to be the MP9 swinging off that. Joey will find Yabby. You can see them trying to apply pressure. They have no utility remaining on the CT side, so they're forced into these fights. That's why I was saying maybe not the ideal buy. Didn't have to win this round whatsoever. Now you're opening the door of opportunity. They're giving Maus a little bit of confidence. In, we'll see. Okay, Device, nice shot right there. Okay. I mean, this would be a tragic ending for Maus, and it doesn't look like it will be the case. He's already evacuating. Device falling off. Wants to take that off into the next round moving forward, along with Stare. Still holding on to that A1S. Don't think there's a world where they can hunt down Device. He's got a very powerful position. He's joined by his teammate as well. Hunt is on, though. That's Flashbang's play. decent. They trade him out. And there will be an opportunity to get him, but uh, Device actually makes this one a little bit frustrating. They finish off with more players than Mouse. <laughs> Good smoke early on to deny it the stairs position. Looking if anybody is going to go for a peek over the half wall. The nades are all over him right now. There is fire at his feet. 16 health, alive. still yeah. alive. Oh, and so much damage inflicted as well. Torzi, that must have been a great transfer for him. Yeah. Four versus three, a lot of damage inflicted, and at this point, I mean, Maus, it feels like you really want to get this bomb down because every member from Astralis is here, though, so that is going to be a treacherous path to it. Oh, Labor no Kane way! Shuhei takes that on all three players to keep Maus in this one with four alive. All right, Device, can he close things out? Oh, that's uncomfortable. It takes considerable damage. Sound cue's given up. Nice advantage. First advantage they've had in the second half. Stare will find Jimmy. Strong angle from Sarah to find that opening pick on a Yimpat. Just the straight down fight. And now that Yabby's actually taken this space, it is a lot of info. Mauser are being funneled towards the A bomb site. Exertion wants a crack at it. And no utility just yet. Okay, no, the flash, the smoke. It's going to set up the push. Exertion clears out the sandbags at this point. Now, four on four. Exertion is able to take one player out. Good damage onto Stare. They recognize that that's a B player. This is going to be actually open up the eyes of the Mao's camp. 
as to what is possible. And wow, this duel right here on the rafters goes the way of Stare. Shuhei, okay. though, with the flank. This might be the finishing blow. One kill right there. And he is surrounded by options. Two on two. Wow. This is really breaking down in such a strange fashion. Oh. Able to take the kill on Acadian as well. Damage inflicted. Three health, four health. <laughs> so low right now. Okay. Yabby is right there. He could end the game right here. It's a nice position with the AWP. Ah. And not going to be quite enough. An admirable showing there from Mouse. They show they can be competitive with this map, but after a 10 2 start, it's a dominating performance from Astralis, and maybe the 2 0 is possible. Getting someone to turn from an angle, even for a split second. Ah, he's got his place anyway. Yes. Yeah, let's talk about decoys, the whole pistol. Zertion opening frag will find device. That's the Julie's thwarted, but they got to get past Yabby. Not the ideal weapon for a multi kill, as you can see in a few get. Crystal clear headshots. It's going to be difficult to find two kills. It's going to be a three versus two, though, as Stair and Stown try to retake the bomb side. Bomb going down towards the back of the side itself. Still a fighting chance here, I suppose. If we can get a clean one from Stown, there is a chance here. It does find Brolan. Two versus two. Shui and Torji to defend. Stown approaching right at Tetris. Knows that there's one back silo. Other player in the hut right now. There it is. That's the decoy, actually. Stair turns away, but he still hits the shot. What a that geez. is incredible stuff. Decoy's still bouncing around right there. Not really going to matter all too much. And he's going to stick it. Are you kidding me? Torzi, you got to peek him. Okay, three seconds left. Oh, he's right there. And he gets off the ball. And Torzi finds the headshot. That was close, though. As we get into the scouts and MP9s device has been a menace on this map in the past and now exertion though quick to find the 5v4 device gonna break the smoke right there oh he might get an opportunity right out of his view and still able to find the tag nice shots traded okay device through the smoke is able to take down exertion kadian he's just got the okay. five seven though does he want to tuck in one of these corners i think he kind of has to it would be too much yeah he has to stay here now one kill and a half would give them a fighting chance. I think it's going to be pretty fine, though. The fact they're slowing things down, not trying to capitalize on it. There's the one and a half, one and a quarter. As Torji's down to 80 points of health. Yabby's here, though, and he's good with the Desert Eagle. Let me tell you, he can find another kill. An absolute master with this weapon. Another opportunity presents itself. He's got players all around him. Surely can't get another kill now. Well played by Jim Fat. Good movement, but leaves him in a two versus two. Certainly the advantage from Mouse here with 50 seconds remaining and Device staying down at nine points of health. But Stare looking for his moment to strike. He holds towards Decon. 45 seconds as Mouse pumped the brakes. Couple of flashes, one HE. Waiting for a bit of incel here, but time is of the essence now. If they wait too long, it could be very uncomfortable in the plan. They're really taking their time with this one. It looks like they want to go for the door side clear together. Device is waiting with the scout. One tag, though, he could even if he goes down, one tag could be enough. There it is. There's, yep. Headshot, though, and stare. Oh, call. they're going up the vent. Good call. What a bold call. I mean, if he's waiting right at the top right there, this would have been a disaster for them. Now he has to climb up the vent to follow, but Yimpat, no. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 he turns back just in time. Okay. Exertion should be able to find a safe passage onto lower at this point. Although there is quite a bit of spam still flying his way. <laughs> and well, the grenades. The as well. okay. MP9 for Cadian to defend off a full-on ramp assault. The smoke that comes right now. They really do isolate these fights. Good little flashbang with device as well. They sacrifice some control, which is absolutely fine. There is probably going to be equally traded out there. It might as well hold on to the man advantage. The ramp is not a bomb site. It's a portal down towards lower, but you don't need to have control, especially with the advantage here. You've got rotations coming down towards lower. Two CTs ready and waiting and device. A little bit overworked in the position right now. You can see outside a bit of a problem, and they're making their way towards hell. He probably goes down here. That's if they check him. He could get a fantastic timing, and he certainly does. Finds the bomb and gets himself one and a half kills. Still a tough position for Mouse. Sure, you go one for one there. Generally favorable for the T, but Device found out where at least a couple players are in Yimpat. He's taken a big risk by coming up that ladder. Stair is in a great position to defend, though, although he's not holding up it right now. Oh, a a this is a bit concerning, although he's right beneath them. Sometimes this goes overlooked because he is right beneath. Yimpat might fall right on his head. Okay, we're going to see how they clear this one out. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This oh! is the hard to clear <laughs> angle, and Stair oh. is reaping the rewards of it. Brolin there, now in the hut by himself, able to find one headshot. 14 seconds left, but too many bodies. All right, first round on the board. Quite a nice one there as well. So they're winning ways. So the money's actually pretty bad. They're fully invested here with Mac 10, Tech 9, and P250. And Device got an op. 
Oh, sure. Okay. Parishes in the previous round, but okay. Fast play onto the A bomb site. Exertion first up is able to take down Yabby. Ooh, Snare only returns with one. Now four on three. They break the smoke. That actually allows down an opportunity, but he only goes one for one. Now, Katie and Device, they have a decision to make. There's an op in the hands of the Device. That makes this retake so difficult. And I do feel like they are opting for the save at this point. They don't want to yep. send it. They don't want to force the issue. Uncomfortable flashbangs deployed, as you saw. It was a little bit scrappy there from Astralis, leaping through the flames of USPs and handers, trying to find one kill if possible. Zershan took care of business, though. And Katie, you need to stay alive here, my friend. Nice kill. That will do. Hold on to your weapon here. Gets himself another $300. He definitely can drop a weapon. So can Device as well. Not going to be a quick little peek. Resmokes the door, and it looks like it's just another A exec. Okay, Molly's okay. are out Staring in both at directions. Position. That is a good kill to kick things off. It looks like it's actually halted Mal Mal's in their tracks. Yeah, they, they would have gone down one by one there. Now Stair can actually do more and more damage. Gets the dink on Brawlan as well. Four versus three should be the round. If they can get a pull down Vents, you never know, but it wasn't broken. Coming out of the gray screen, there was nothing towards you could do. She will be far behind him as Brolan, one more bullet, will take him. And that's a great recovery from Astralis there. Uh, you can see Stair more than ready for the upper execution this time. Wasn't caught in the flames and completely blind on the hut. At least checking it. Oh, th this could work out. Wait. I think Exertion could sneak in right now. Yeah, he might actually blindside Stare. Wow, he's got an angle right here. Actually finds Yabby first. Now Stare's on an island. Oh my and Exertion God. with the double entry. Well done by him. Sneaking right by the gaze of Device. Doesn't peek out quite wide enough with that flash, and it costs his team everything. Uncomfortable to be losing to the pistols over and over again. They know a device is out here, and they are slowly but surely encroaching on his position. Shui, knife out though, that's not gonna bode too well. He's trying to escape the bomb blast, I suppose. Do they find device outside? Ooh, right around the corner. Oh no, okay, no. he's towards secret. Yeah. Wants to continue to strike fear into the hearts of Astralis. And this time though, he doesn't expect Stown. Okay, so a more proactive setup coming into play from Astralis and Device is already waiting at the ramp. This should be a freebie, and it is. Spots out a couple other players as well, able to retreat relatively safely. And Mouse, yeah, you got ramp control, but you're down two men. Let's see what they can do with him. They got to focus towards heaven this time. Problem is, they'll be very aware of this. Device has solid control of the ramp still. He's got information. They're not pushing down towards the lower side. Kadian just needs one. Really nice off angle as well. AK-47. He manages to secure the round there. That should be all she wrote. There's still a minute here. You've got players like Jimmy and Shuey. They've got utility, sure, but it would take a series of errors here from Astralis to give this one up. Stare, you can see he's a little bit worried. The timing's going to elude him here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's all good. There was a moment there. Now he spotted the last player as well. Shuey's got no chance of winning this one. Up he goes, and uh, yeah, he's not long for this world, I'm afraid. 40 seconds, getting spammed as well. Good job from Stown to close things out. That's the round they needed. And bear in mind, the money's just not established, nor is the loss bonus matter. They keep going back and forth in these last three rounds. Astralis can't afford to lose to Tech Nines again. In fact, actually, though, Maus don't have any Molotovs, so it doesn't look like they're going to be going for the straightforward A exec. It looks like they actually probably want to send a majority of their players down secret with some cross smokes, but Stown, once again, just playing back red. This is such a hard position to deal with if you don't have a Molotov, and there's a lot of support oh, utility, no. but what? <laughs> for a long range, the Tech Knight comes out on top. Okay, Brolin's on one right now. That's insane how he gets that kill. Double dink from the top rope, and that makes things very uncomfortable. Kadian, though, He's in a precarious position, realizing that fact. He's surrounded right now. Players towards main roof. They're going to drop down. Perfect flashbang. They overlook him. He gets a little bit of a gift there, Maui. The fact he gets a double kill is kind of unbelievable. And still, is looking like it's going to fall apart here. Yabby on high alert, scrambling to stay alive. But the flashbang's deployed. He's got players all around him, running out of bullets. Has to be the USP, and it's not quite enough. Device again to try and save the day. Low HP on this player, though. Gets the bomb down. Oh, my days. Exchanging blows here. It's Device down to 12 points of health. Torji knows it as well. He should be winning this round hands down unless Device can somehow get the shot. Nailed with the AWP. Finally, they get one over the line against the pistols, and it's Device to save the day. Close range. This is check so him. sticky, yeah. Device. I gotta check is he going to overlook this? No, wait. What? Exertion was just looking at it. Oh, he just passed him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, any other gun right now. There's no shot. Trade is there from Brolin. Down right through the smoke. Important frag to keep the advantage for Astralis. And Stair, he actually wants to try his luck towards Hut. Comes out on top, although immediate trade once again. Yimpat finds him. Also finds some passage onto the A bomb site, though Yabby still standing strong. 
Torzi in the one versus three with an op, no control, a Yabby that is slowly encroaching. He does not look long for this world. This is such he a great off angle already. Oh, I'm liking this from Astralis. Great recovery, great mental fortitude. Oh, Debbie Galil's and Tech 9's are racking the app. Oh, wow. Okay, fast A play again. This has caused trouble for Astralis before. they ready but this time. Not this time. Okay, Yabby with two Yo, kills. Relax. And they're just running them down. Okay, Stown with the quick kill around the vent. And that is seven rounds on the half for Astralis. As good as they really can get. And now Astralis have ground their way back into it. Can they find a pistol here? It doesn't look great for the device at the start, though. 95 damage, a bullet to the face. And Yabby, he will exchange blows with Jimmy. Stairs got tantalizingly close towards heaven. I think he surprises Shui at this point. Doesn't nail the shot, though. Had the advantage, couldn't connect the dots. And it looks like Mouse should be taking this one. No problem whatsoever. That confirms that his device only has five points of health. He's in T-Sport. They, they were putting... JL in the blender, they were putting Alexi in the blender. It, it was just, it was living hell. But as them. you said, that tape is available now. Exactly. Adjustments would have been made, and sure, I caught Navi off guard, but now you knew that you're picking this map today, you're watching that demo, your analyst is there, your coach is there, working out what went so well for them. And the fact you've picked it suggests that you know how to counter it. A very important pistol here from Alice, and they've won, they win comprehensively. It is a little different this time. Smoke goes in the face of Brolin, tags him in fact, and they're trying to scale towards outside. This is putting a lot of pressure on Torzi, but he's got help in tow. Yimpat oh, right. striking from the stairs, and Yimpat, he's unsure if there's anybody in this, but Yabby yeah, on the oh. flank, he's taking all this space, but he misses the shot. Oh, a golden opportunity, but it presents itself once again. Torzi still so much oh, pressure. Damn. Stare with the long range Deagle, and it is all unraveling for Mao's Exertion, a chance to recover though. He's coming up secret. Rolling as well, able to find a kill on a stair and exertion. He knows exactly where that player is at the AC unit. And Shuhei, he's taking some space back, but he's by his lonesome. I would say massive advantage now, considering the positional control and the information that player behind the AC units. Round still possible, I suppose. We'll take some more Deagle antics. It all starts here. Yabby with the chance, can't quite convert it, and that should be all she wrote here. An exciting couple of moments, but uh, ultimately, Stown, okay, I was about to say, nothing he can do. An opportunity presents itself for some reason. Shui overlooking the ramp. No double kill potential, though. Brolan puts that round to bed, and now a moment's respite with no bomb farm there. I'm assuming this is the eco going forward now. Loves the snipe. And uh, very nice defensive setup, though. I love this, like, two layers they've got to the defense. You've got Torture by the steps. Zershan inflicting that damage towards main roof. And the CT should be absolutely fine here. Nice shot from Stair. Not sure if you're expecting the buy-in again. Oh, no. Oh, damn. That's good from Yabby. Oh, it's happening again. This is getting a little freaky. Yabby actually oh, just Noah. goes all the way Hadian's up the ladder as well. And they're down B. Game, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, this is great work from Kadian. This is actually like proper calling going on. Mid rounds and that understanding of what their potential options are and what to do once they get that kill towards upper. Everyone dives down towards lower. I don't think you they're, can really justify going for they're it. They're outplayed. Absolutely owned. Yeah, they've been outplayed. That's it. I, I don't see how you get back in this one. I think Shuhei's just going to give it a shot. Okay, if he evens the man deficit. Okay, has got him though. Okay, didn't miss this. He's a scout oh, master now. Right. You know that. You are right. You called it. He doesn't miss those. Even with a broken hand, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, I don't know what's going still, on there, but... Still the weirdest narrative <laughs> out of this whole thing, yeah. Uh, Yimpat's going to try to save that A1S and spawn, and okay, well, they broke the money of Mao's, so there's no loss bonus on the side of the CTs right now, and that is going to put Astralis in a prime position. They keep the advantage here, 8 to 7. Yimpat, okay, I mean, you're going to test it right now, but I think that flash is going to buy him enough space. I don't think that there's any eyes on this, so this could be the flank that they're looking for. If they Surely someone's on. aware of it, though. Like, you're going to be uh, looking and thinking about uh, Supra. Not, exa not exactly. I mean, Stair's looking right now. Okay, and yeah, the, the, the flank pays off, although the, the gun power is uh -oh. just its just way too strong. The firepower is too strong from these rifles. Wait a second. I might have spoke too soon. Yeah. Roland's able to strike in, and they know that there's a player That's in heaven safe. right now. Massive nay takes Torji down to 53 points of health. That should secure the round. I say that with bated breath, though. Brolan has been fantastic in the last couple of months. The star player for Mouse time and time again lands the headshot in the first. This would be a robbery of a round if he can take this one versus one up against Kadian, though. Has shown some incredible form today. Great understanding of his opponent. And now he should be aware there's no kip, Maui. That's the main thing. He doesn't have to take the bait on the first deep use attempt here. As long as he stays alive, I'm pretty sure he wins the round here. You don't even have to swing around. Stay calm. 
and he's exactly what he's done. Well played. The veteran comes out on top here. There'll be no time for the 10 second defuse, even if he goes down. So very well done from KD, and he knew exactly what he was up against there. You've got to take the risk that they don't have the kit there. Intention towards ramp by the looks of things here. Very defensive from young Jimmy. Doesn't have the smoke, and now might not have a head. He's going to be traded out for sure. Good damage there from Yabby. They're going to try and retake this. This is crazy. You are asking for trouble here, and they might just get it. Torji locked in by the Molotov, his teammate now behind the flames as well. Three versus three. Advantage Astralis, although stair is low. Good opportunity there for Arcadian. Might just fall back towards the lobby itself. I don't think there was enough smoke cover to suggest he went down secret. This kill could decide the round. Device on high alert down to 50 points of foul. Trying to reset, trying to recalibrate. As Brolan hunts for information out towards ramp. One minute five on the clock. And, well, perfectly timed there, Brolan. Well played. That's the round. Finally, they break the streak here. So many re-aggresses there for Mao's Exertion, Brolin. A lot of weight on his shoulders right now. Flick required. One that doesn't connect. Tantalizingly close. They smoke off main. It's going to be Exertion. Showing some fantastic form as of late. He's got the timing. And he's got the aim to back it up. The spray down towards... The main entrance converted, and it looks like they've done enough to get through this difficult round. And uh, as I mentioned, it should be 10 on the board. We should have a tie oh, wait. game. Oh, my God. What just happened? Oh, Stair snuck through. He slipped the net. Now, Yabby, he's in seat. What? He's in hell right now? Okay, wait. He might catch them off guard. Oh, oh what? No way. How does he hit Not that? On oh, my goodness. I what just happened it. with Yabby? What? A man possessed to deliver a Astralis no. around out of thin air. Like, if you're not a top 10 team, play Vertigo. Like, catch them with their pants down. Get them, get them flustered in the veto. Oh, like, it's a really cool idea. Look at the utility for Maus. So little to work with. Sure, they got some weapons, but it is a fast A play here. Go Rolling so line at the opposite vent. Able to find Yabby and Stare quick on the trade. Oh, it's a flurry of frags, and it looks like oh, oh, oh. Maus are going to weather the storm. Okay. He's down in the smoke, and All he's right. not going to be able to find anything. Okay, that would have been a really cool way to close things down there. Yeah, interesting variation of the outside smoke. So you smoke towards main and lockers, uh, taking vision away, allows you to isolate these certain fights, but you can see there are vulnerabilities there, especially against the orb, baiting him into a second peak, though. Didn't anticipate the Danish sniper on the other side. As we go to a four and four, can they close things out right here, right now? Stown, double orb set up on the T side. You don't see this too often, and we'll see whether we can make it work. One minute left on the clock. Got to slow things right down, waiting for the reactions here. Mouse have opted for a lobby retake, at least get information, and they've got some. No one's home. This might be the finishing blow. If he's able to find an entry onto this A bomb site, Stout has got the flash ready, yep. usually used for retakes. Might be the entry this time. I think it's perfect. I think you'll be looking at this position completely. You're so bloody blind. This should be the GG moment. If we can get the double kill from Stair, if Device can chime in as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Astralis came into this tournament as the underdogs, and they've just booked themselves a place in the semi-finals here in Singapore. Unless something unbelievable happens, it's not going to occur. What a performance from the great Danes. Cadian leads them to a dominating victory here on Nuke.